All right, the last race to talk about, and what a joke. <laughs> For so many reasons. The San Felipe Stakes, first of all, DK horse. I know it's supposed to be DraftKings horse. I mean, it's just because the five-year-old of me, I keep seeing it as Dick Horse. The Dick Horse San Felipe Stakes. Um, rescheduled to Sunday. Thought that was the right move because of the, how bad the weather was in Southern California for Saturday. But we lost Nisos. And the reason supposedly was because of the the the, the one day difference. He didn't Baffert didn't want to disrupt Nisos' schedule. Maybe he wanted to let one of these other two Baffert horses win this race. I don't I don't buy that. But anyways, what are your thoughts on Nisos and then this race as a whole? Well, Nysos is pointing to a different race than everyone else we're talking about today, right? Oh, let's be honest. Nysos is pointing to the Preakness and the Haskell. Yep. Those are the two races that Baffert cares about. And this race is, is largely irrelevant for Nysos. So I don't, I don't, I, he could have scratched for whatever reason he wanted to. He'll probably run in the Santa Anita Derby, <laughs> probably win it by open lengths and then go, go on to the Preakness and probably win that race as well. He's two to one in the future pool right now. Um, so, you know, there's all of that going on. As far as this race, like, yeah, we learned exactly what we thought. We learned like the two Bafferts are the two best horses this race, and there's there's no one in California that should be in the Kentucky Derby at this point, which is sad to say. Like, at least we had Go Rocket Ride last year, and it, like there's always been these these other California horses. You had one or two of them that were like at least interesting uh, outside of the Bafferts. And man, this is like it's the Bafferts and nothing this year. And like these two Bafferts aren't even that good. Like that's the other part of it where it's like yeah. not it, this isn't like oh hey they would be short prices in the Derby. No, if, if wind me up an imagination made it to the Derby gate, both of them are over 20 to one. And that's wild. Like that, that this is the best that the California has to offer right now. It's just, it's a shame that, uh, that this is what we're seeing. We'll see what happens, uh, when they take a step forward. Um, but man, this is just, it's, it, it, it's, it's sad to watch this, uh, to be honest with you, because like I, I love Santa Anita. I love the California circuit. And to have this be one of your premier races on Big Cap Day is uh, it's a bummer. The uh, we need a Mandarin hero to come over and be our hero. <laughs> yeah. Mandarin yeah. hero would absolutely win that. Well, nice. was in the Santa Anita. Watch the one Scatify, by the way. He gets kind of bullied over a little bit by um, by wind me up uh, who's trying to take the rail. Barrios was fighting the hell out of Scatify and he wasn't responding. Watch him. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't, he didn't get mugged, Shoddy. That horse did not want to respond. Barrios is, I mean, they'll zoom in here in a second and you'll see Barrios has still got both feet in the dash trying to stop this horse mm -hmm. from climbing up the top of winding me up. I mean, this is, this is your three to one third choice in this race. Like, well, this is this, that's horrible. also one of the scenarios. If you go watch the head on, the head on is a lot less damning than the, the, the pan is like the pan makes it look a lot worse than it actually was. It's clearly the one just going bonkers versus yeah. the two coming over on him. And uh, it's, it swung imagination out a little bit. So imagination, you gotta give him some props. I thought why me up was winning this race when they turned for home. Like I, I, I also had why me up single in the pick five. So kind of hoping for why me up to win this race. Uh, <laughs> but I, I thought why me up was winning this race when they turned for home because it looked like he got on even terms and then imagination kind of kicked clear by that head again. Uh, so pretty frustrating there from a, a Samich perspective in this race. <laughs> um, but it, like, again, let's say Scatify doesn't do that. What do we, is he five lengths back instead of 15? Like, is that really the horse you're looking for or pointing to through the Derby? It's just, it's ridiculous. I was on, uh, the, the triple H racing podcast, uh, last week with Howard, which by the way, go check it out and subscribe to the triple H racing podcast on YouTube. Howard does a lot of great stuff over on his channel, but he was asking me about the California racing. And is there anyone in California that people are excited about or think might make the derby or be have a chance and he brought up scatify and he before this it was like no no scatify is not a serious threat this is i mean this was wait for it if, wait for it there he there is, he is. <laughs> if you were betting scatify next out you would say well this is a scratch off race for him yeah but it uh, also just horrible i mean imagine it imagination is the better of the two horses between him and wind me up um imagination has the problem of running up or down to his competition. He never dominates a race and you go, yeah, that's a, that is an amazing horse. That's just, you know, he was a head better than wind me up. Who's, you know, about 3000 heads worse than Niso. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, neither of these horses, look, if Nisos is in this race, he, he beats imagination by seven. Like it's not close. Nisos is yeah. by far the best horse, the best three-year-old horse in the country right now. I mean, even look at the, the fractions, like, the yeah. fact that they went 26, basically 26 and two from the three quarter of the mile and then six and three for that last uh, 16th. Like that's, 
and they were all out and that's yeah. not that's not great <laughs> No, it's not. And and like they didn't go that fast early. This isn't this is San Anita, like 2347. Yeah. It's not burning it. This is a all time comment by Sylvia, by the way. The tractor <laughs> was honking the horn at Scatify. I love that. That's amazing. They, they were like they were about to run him over with the rake. He was going so slow at the end of that race. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just this. Uh, it's a bummer. How many think, horses do you think we end up with in the San Anita Derby? Yeah, I saw that question from, uh, oh, shoot, where'd it go? Someone said six, over under six and a half horses. There's Car Ramrod. Jeez. Um, I'll go I'll go under six and a half. I think six is the most we get for the San Anita Derby. I'll go over just because it's the San Anita Derby, and I think there's going to be two random horses that show up. Imagination will be there. Why Me Up will be there. <laughs> I would expect McVeigh and Scatify both end up there anyway. Like Because where else are they going to go? Right, and so that's we're already at five, we're already at five in that sense, and then we have two randos that show up. And can I? Can you want me to tell you who I bet for the Derby now? 